and businesswoman Katie Price has been campaigning for years now to make online abuse a specific criminal offence and to create a register of offenders. The Mum of Five, whose campaign has taken her to the House of Commons, started pushing for Harvey's law after her eldest son was trolled online. Uh, we're joined now by Katie and uh, Harvey. And it, Katie, it's absolutely lovely to see you this morning and to see you as well, Harvey. Oh, How are you doing? thanks for having me. Hi, you both. Right, Harvey can't hear you because he didn't want to put the earpiece in his ear, did you, Harve? No. But they're, they're talking to me. Look at the telly there, and they're talking to me. So they're going to ask me questions for you, Harve, but you didn't want to hear them, did you? Yeah. No. No, okay. I totally understand. I can completely sympathise that he doesn't want to hear us. <laughs> 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 um, Katie, we're going to talk a little bit um, with you and Harvey now about uh, about some good news, and just leave the talking about the case and the yeah. and the law um, and in uh, for a few minutes' time uh, after a little break. But firstly, I just okay. want to congratulate you on the documentary Casey Price, Harvey and Me, because it has been nominated for a National Television Award. It's it's brilliant, mm -hmm. and Harvey has become a breakout star in his own right, hasn't he? Yes, they're talking about you, Harvey, winning the NTAs. Remember I told you yeah. that we're going to get you a suit and you're going to go on stage if you win and thank everybody out there who's watched your TV show you did with Mum. What oh, do you think? Oh, yes, Mummy! You would absolutely love it. And they're saying how good you were on the TV. When I was a good man. When you was a good man, that's right. <laughs> I love it! Yeah, I do. I couldn't tell you. I know. And I can't wait, because I think it's amazing that we're even up for um, a nominee. And plus, to get him in a suit. Um, oh, it would just be amazing if, if he wins that. And it's not down to me, it's down to Harvey, it's you, Harvey. Can you get off your iPad just for one second? Well, look, look, everyone's watching you. Say hello to Nanny and Granddad. Hi, Nanny and Granddad. Oh. We're on TV. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love it. And also, and Harvey... Richard is on here, Harv. Hi, oh, Harv. Yeah. Tell him I'm giving the wave. Listen, I'm going to say ask... Richard, right, Richard, who's on there, Harv. Oh, yeah. The last time we saw you, you was on his show and you was a baby. What do you want to say to Richard? Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. You look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what about me, Harvey? Oh, the irony. I like it. What I was going to ask you to ask Harvey. Hi, Susanna. Do I yeah. look all right, Harvey? You look beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so <laughs> much. Oh, did Hello. that fall down, Harv? Don't worry. That's live TV for you, Harv. <laughs> it's live TV. Just move that there. That's all right, Harv. And also, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> congrats <laughs> Love Congratulations it. to Harvey as well, because he's shortlisted for Celebrity of the Year at the National Diversity Awards. You're also voted Celebrity of the Year. That means the best man of the year. Everyone's voted you for that. Oh, yeah. How does that make you feel? Happy. Does oh. it? Of course. What do you want to say to everybody out there who loves Harvey and they watch you on TV? What do you want to say to everyone? Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. We in TV, I miss you forever. Oh. <laughs> Katie, you are such a damn good mum. You are really fantastic. Are. Just a very quick question before before Harvey leaves us and we, we talk about this court case, which which you've lost yeah. um, astonishingly, but we'll come to that. Um, just ask him, yeah. does he does he enjoy watching himself on the screen when he's when he's looking at the footage of the documentary that he makes? Does, does he like watching himself? Harvey. Yeah. What do you like watching on your iPad? When you're on TV, do you like watching you on TV? Yeah. What do you like about it? Harvey, about Mummy. Do you love it? Of course. And where do you watch it? In Loose Women. Yeah, you saw it on Loose Women. Do you go on YouTube and watch Mummy and Harvey? Yes. Do you? Do you like watching yourself on TV? Because it's the best YouTube channel ever. Yeah. Is it? Of course. And what do you think of your mummy? Beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> do you think Mummy's a good mummy? Yeah. Do you? Cool. What do you like best about Mummy? Be with Harvey every day. You want Mummy every day, don't you? Yeah, and Mom. what do you like Mummy doing with Harvey? Kisses and lots of cuddles. Aww. You love it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you drive me absolutely crazy. I know. Everything, bam, bam. Yeah, you drive me nuts, <laughs> you do. I know. Well, I'll tell you what, Casey, don't, don't take the compliment of you being beautiful too, too much to Harvey, because, you know, he says that to all the girls. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, yeah, you say you know, that to everyone, Harv. You say everyone's well, beautiful. And, well, well, but why not? It's got such a positive attitude, and frankly, we need more of it. Yeah. Um, Harvey, yeah. thank you very much indeed thank for joining Harvey. us. Um, and Katie, we're going to be back with you, you in love. just a thank moment. Thank you, guys, everyone. No, Cheers, Harvey. Oh, thanks to you. Absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Love, love him. Love him. <laughs> Let's just have Harvey on every morning. Well, Katie Price has vowed to keep fighting for Harvey's law after a man who shared an offensive video about her son was found not guilty in court. Going to talk to Katie about that in just a moment. First, Charlotte Sexton has more on the case. Um, so Katie is still with us and for obvious reasons we we just wanted uh, Harvey to take a break uh, just while we discuss this because it's you know Katie it is not pleasant when you know when we have an interview with Harvey you shouldn't then have to be subjected to trolling uh, online but unfortunately that's something that you know you have to fight against all the time isn't it Exactly. So I've got two campaigns, Harvey's Law, but the one we're talking about today as well is Track or Troll. It's exactly that. Um, things get re It's not just about Harvey, it's about everyone there, uh, everyone out there. Um, and it's the case that if it was on the street, say like this exact, um, the video that went out, if it was on the street and it was happening to Harvey live, and then a person came along and said to everyone, hey, hey, look, come and look at this, come and look at this, it would be reviewed different. Mm. Now, because it's online, it's treated different when it should be treated the same. And as you can see, Harvey is so innocent and just such a gorgeous guy, he doesn't deserve it. And everyone else out there doesn't deserve it. Yeah, they were mocking me too, but the thing is, I've got a voice, so I can speak up. Harvey can't. Mm. And it's such a shame that the man got off it because um, he was gonna get done for malicious communications. And all we need is just one judge, one judge just to see the, you know, to make it clear that you can have a consequence if you do it. Because in my eyes, even if you retweet it, you're still part of it. Yeah, listen, for obvious reasons, we can't show and we wouldn't show the video because it is deeply offensive. I was astonished when I got the notes on this story, Very. to be honest with you, that this guy got off. Because it seemed to me, if anything, was, was malicious and, 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 and deliberately targeting uh, somebody who is, as you say, has no voice to hit back mm. in the cruelest possible way, I thought this, this was a, a classic case. You must have been astonished when the guy walked, walked out of court without a stain on his so-called character. Well, I, I, I was really, I was upset because even in court, and I, and I was being cross-examined, I, I made it clear to everyone in court, you, you all must have kids. And I am a mother. And even what it makes me feel like seeing that with Harvey is really upsetting. You know, it makes me angry. And all I'm trying to do is my best to defend Harvey, be his voice, and also help protect everyone else. I mean... <laughs> It's a no-brainer. Everyone knows that it should be in place. It doesn't just happen to Harvey. No. It's happening to, like, footballers on the racism thing. It's happened to MP. It happens to everyone out there. Well, Katie, just stay listening, and we're going to come back to you in a minute, because we're also joined by lawyer Alexandra whiston Dew, who is a partner at Miss Condorea, and she's here, obviously, live in the studio. Um, you say, you were saying before, during the break, that as a lawyer, you weren't surprised at the outcome of this case. But Katie's got a really good point, hasn't she? If this guy had said and done in real life, in the street, to um, Katie and, and her son, what he did online, he would undoubtedly, had there been evidence for it, he would have gone down for it, because it was offensive behaviour um, in a public place. Why is there this differential between real life and saying things and going online and saying them and, be and being allowed to? I, I can't understand it. It is, it is very difficult to understand, and I think what we have to appreciate is the law is trying to catch up with what is happening online. And there's lots it of... It needs to, doesn't it? It's a long <laughs> way back. Absolutely right. And at the moment, there is a patchwork of different legal frameworks to try and deal with this kind of conduct from a civil and criminal perspective. So why didn't this case succeed against him? So the Malicious Communications Act has a lot of um, very high thresholds which need to be achieved in order for a, a judge or the court to make a decision that someone is guilty. And in this particular case, they looked at the evidence and they thought that the limb of the offence, which is that it has to be grossly offensive, indecent or obscene, mm. and there has to be intention behind the, um, the publication, so to, to cause, cause offence. Mm. And because my his defence was that he was just kidding. 
Well, this is, this is how it's reported. Reported to say that um, the content was seen to be as a joke and that he meant to share it um, with the intention of it being funny. He found it mildly amusing, is how it's reported. And that, um, to the court's point of view, was not sufficient to, to breach that threshold. Um, have there been cases where people have been proved to have intended mm. to cause offence with grossly offensive material? I mean, are people being sentenced in these cases? That they are being sentenced. There are cases that, um, that are successful and go through the courts. The, the, the really difficult thing here is the, the judgment of the material and around intention. And it's very difficult to try and pin an intention on someone as to why they've shared it. Yeah. And I think a lot of lawyers would also say that an intention shouldn't be um, something that's required for these types of offences online when viral, viral communications can be so damaging. I mean, Casey, just putting your case aside, I, I can't believe that there isn't an, an intent behind all trolling. I mean, you know, when people are Absolutely. horrible Absolutely. about Harvey, I mean, what, you know, it's quite yeah. obvious what their intent is, isn't it? Well, the thing is with that video, I know it's not just about me, but these days, racism is a massive thing. And in the video that was done, they painted their face. That's racist. They done his eye movement. That's mocking him. And then, obviously, the speech. And then they're mocking me. I mean, there's so much in it that's wrong. So even someone sharing it must think, oh, that's a bit, you know, below the belt. But they still want to share it. And, I mean, this is it's frustrating, not just for me, for everyone out there who's in a, a similar situation. Unless anyone sees a consequence, and I thought, you know, being high profile and really, like, um, I'm on the case for it, I think as soon as an example is showed that you can have a consequence, I think it will calm down a lot. But at the moment, I just feel Harvey's being trolled more now that guy has been let off because people are, like, basically saying, ha-ha, he they didn't get, get done, we'll carry on. They can get away with it, and they can get away with yeah. it, and he has got away with it, and we can't even name him. We've been given legal advice to say that we can't even name this guy. I mean, you and Harvey have been fully outed in the most disgusting way. We can't even say who this bloke is. That's how much he's well, got away with. because he's cleared of, of any offence. Yeah. Um, but, Katie, I mean, I know you are continuing the good fight against the, um, you know, the sheer cruelty that, Anyone that out people there? show towards yeah. Harvey. And as we've seen, you know, Harvey's just such a... He's such a lovely character. He's a joy. He's a and joy. Uh, does he have TikTok, Katie? Because he is a massive TikTok star. Do you know, he actually doesn't have TikTok, well, don't but he'd be amazing him to it. on it. Yes, um... he, <laughs> he is, because lots and lots <laughs> of the bits of that show, of the documentary, um, are on TikTok, but it is highly addictive. It's highly addictive. Uh, but he's an absolute superstar, Katie, and as Richard says, you know, you are... And people can see him again. We're doing, a... yeah, keep We're going. doing another documentary about him now going to college, so you'll see the next stages. Yeah. Well, good luck. I, I totally support your campaign. I'm running my own campaign in the newspaper I write for to get people Thank to you. be identified online when they post things, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram. We need to know who they are so that that would then make them responsible for what they say because they'd be mm. terrified of being caught. So I'm right behind you, Katie. I think you're spot on and good luck with it. And I think you'll win. I think Thank in the end, you so much, guys. We'll and thanks for having me and Harvey. Oh, it's a joy. It's, it was absolutely lovely. You're such a good mum, Katie. And, and um, you know, that's always the overwhelming filming when, uh, feeling when we see you on air. Thanks very much indeed. Thank, Thank you, you uh, for your legal advice as well. Good to see you as well. GMB approached Crown Prosecution Service, who declined to comment a spokesperson for the department. Uh, for digital culture, media and sports, said all online abuse is unacceptable. Last month, they published, of course, the online safety bill, uh, which they say will make the UK the safest place to be online.